I said Neil Peart wasn't much of a groove drummer, and now his fanboys, they're coming to get me. What is up, you guys? Welcome to Will Drum for Food, the rantings of an over-caffeinated madman. There is a lot on the agenda today. I have a lot to talk about. First of all, the beat. We are in the final round. It is over. Um, votes have been tallied. We don't know who has won yet as of the recording of this video. I would assume that they're going to release it this weekend like they've been doing the past week. So I just want to say to Johnson Drummer, Beatty Dubs, Tony from All Classic Drum Covers, it's been an honor to make it this far. Um, and, and, and no matter who wins, I'm going to be happy for whoever wins. If I win, great. If any of you guys win, great. That leads me to my next point. I'm, I'm done. I'm officially announcing at least my temporary retirement from drum battles or any sort of drum cover competitions. I am. I was kind of reluctant. If you notice in the past, I've only, I've only taken a part in like two battles, and um, uh, uh, I was in one, one or two contests. Um, I was in the Drum Cover of the Year contest, and, and I think I was one on Tony's channel, and then this one. So in reality, it's what, five? Um, so I've only really taken part in five in the time I've started doing this. I don't necessarily, I'm not saying this is a bad thing. I'm not saying that anybody who takes part in it is wrong for doing it. I just don't like... Um, and this is kind of like a hippy dippy position to take, which is not at all like me in any way, shape, or form. I mean, I just, I had a gun in my intro video, so that shows you where I'm at on the hippy dippy love everybody scale. Um, but I don't necessarily like competition in this environment. I, it, it, friendly competition is fine, um, but I would rather just help people become better drummers. I would rather just talk about drums, give my opinions on drumming drums and, and, and just, you know, in, in, in general, uh, you know, share my knowledge. I, I would much rather be an all, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to like get into this, like who's better than who or who had the better video or stuff like that. So i have just kind of, I'm going to take a step back for a little while and not, not do any of those for a while because it's, you know, I just, I don't want it to become something it's not and right now it's a lot of fun and I enjoy it and I'm not saying I'm not saying in any way shape or form it was heading in that direction I'm just saying I'm gonna take a step back from it I'm also probably I'm thinking about going back and changing the name of my YouTube channel from drummer Jeff to Jeff Holden because drummer Jeff's a character that guy in the intro video that's drummer Jeff this guy talking right now is Jeff Holden um, you know, it's, I'm trying to walk that fine line, and, and I feel like I'd be better served just using my real name in, in, in my videos and just kind of being who I am, which leads me to my next point. Who I am is a guy who has basically strong opinions and at times enjoys stirring the pot, which is what I did on a discussion group a couple days ago uh, about Rush and Neil Peart. And what I said was, this is all I said, I said, Neil is great at coming up with drum parts, he's great at technique, but as a groove drummer, I don't, I think he's lacking a little bit. And that's, Man, oh, wow. You know what, that that would have been like showing up at the Oscars on Sunday night with a Trump shirt and a AR-15. It just the, the, <laughs> just the absolute, <laughs> just the vitriol that comes your way when you suggest that Neil Peart may not be the greatest at everything ever when it comes to drums. I love Rush. I love Neil Peart. Used my final freaking cover was was a song I've been obsessed with since I was 14 years old. You know, for the beat, Livia Strangiato. Been obsessed with that song. 
Um, I've seen Rush. Um, going back to the Presto Tour in 89, I, I've seen Rush, oh, I'd see him multiple times a tour sometimes. Um, I, I want to say, I, I'd have to count them up in my head, but I want to say about 14 times, 13 or 14 times I've seen that band in concert. I spent a lot of money. I own every album. I bought the t-shirts, all that crap. I love that band. I love Neil Peart. But at the same time, I recognize that he has limitations as a drummer, just like I have limitations as a drummer, just like you have limitations as a drummer, just like Meg Mangini has limitations as a drummer. We all have limitations, all right? Somehow, Neil Peart has become, I refer to him as, he's the Pope of drums, meaning he's become this religious, human religious figure that it's somehow we can't say anything bad about him. He's infallible. Um, and and the little and the and the, the cult of Peart, as soon as you if you if you just suggest at some point that he may not be perfect in every way, the fanboys come down on you. I've I've made comments about Neil Peart fan. I love Rush, I love Neil Peart, I hate Neil Peart fanboys. Can't stand them because they 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 lose all rational thought. They have there's none in their brain whatsoever. All they say is he's the greatest. He's the greatest. He's the greatest. He's the greatest. Drummer. He's the greatest drummer. I mean, he's always better than him. It's ridiculous. All right, that's the problem. Like I have take I have I have I have with extreme position. I love John Bonham. Okay, John Bonham is my favorite drummer. I say I love Neil Peart and Rush, but I love John Bonham. He's my favorite drummer. There is something about the way that he propelled the band forward that I just think is amazing. I think it's not his drum solos, it's the way he played with the band. It's the way he interacted with the band. That's why I love him so much, okay? At the same time, I recognize that he could go and play in um, Slipknot, all right? it's He wouldn't be able to do that. That's not his forte. And it, it, if, if Neil Peart is <laughs> um, uh, the Pope of Drums, I would say, and actually, no, I didn't say this. Is I, what am I thinking? Somebody else came up. Bill Burr. Bill Burr actually said John Bonham is drumming Jesus. Like people revere and worship him as a drummer, right? And they just, you know, he walked on water in their eyes, and a little bit my eyes too. But at the same time, I'm rational enough to see, hey, okay, he wasn't perfect as a player. We all know he wasn't perfect as a person, okay? And I'm sure Neil Peart's the same way. I'm sure he's not perfect as a person. Um, and he's not a perfect drummer, you know? We gotta be able to acknowledge there's differences in opinion and there's differences in the way people play. And there's, you know, and different people have different opinions about the way people play. Um, I gotta be honest, um, people rave about Ginger Baker. I, I don't get it. I really don't. Um, I, I, obviously, he, yeah, he's a great drummer. But I, people rave about him like he, he was, um, should be in, 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 a, in a category with the greatest ever. And I'm not so sure I agree with that. I mean, he could, yeah, he could hang, you know. And I got to be honest, I've never seen a whole lot of his, his, his drum solo stuff. I'm not big on drum solos. That's another thing, you know. Um, so... I've never seen a lot of his drum solo stuff. Um, I've seen little bits and pieces of some of the drum battles, um, but I, you know, it's I just I don't I don't get it. So he, he he like I don't get like with Cream. Yeah, he was great with Cream, but I don't understand the infatuation with him. I, all right. Uh, at the same time, I can sit down and watch Joe Morello. Another one people rave about, and rightly so. I can sit down and I can watch Joe Morello doing his solo in Take Five. It's amazing. If you've never seen that drum solo, you gotta watch it. it there's so much space in that solo, and what he's doing is sounds. Um, it actually some of it sounds like it would be easy, and that's the thing about like jazz. Jazz sounds easy, but it's really hard. You know, a lot of rock stuff, a lot of heavy metal stuff sounds hard, but it's really, it's really not that hard. It's just a little fast, you know. But Morello's drum solo in Take Five, it's just, it's, it's really, it's truly, truly unbelievable. It really is. All right, that is it for me, guys. Acknowledge that maybe your favorite drummer is not the greatest to ever live. And maybe a drummer that you're not sure of, maybe he's got some attributes. All right, be cool to each other. Um, I'll see you guys next time.